I've been seeing different news stories across the board about the real estate market. I think it's important to look past the headlines and dive into what we see is happening and how it's all going to play out. Long gone are the days when my clients would have to sell a kidney in order to get their offer accepted. <laughs> the market has definitely cooled, but by how much and why? Let's answer the question why. Well, it's the U.S.'s attempt to cool inflation. I mean, we all are feeling how expensive it is to live in the U.S. right now. This is their attempt to essentially keep prices and the economy under control, not just for housing, but expenses across the board. The U.S. is attempting to do this by making it more costly to borrow money. The less money borrowed, the less money in circulation, and the less money in people's hands. Less money means less buying, ultimately translating to less demand in the market, and without demand, prices regulate. So how do we explain the five offers we just received on our newest listing? I thought demand fell off a cliff. Well, there's a lot that goes into it, and if you're thinking about selling, I can share that with you in detail, uh, how we made it possible, but uh, that's for another time. Today, I wanna talk about the core fundamentals of the continued demand for housing. Yes, demand has fallen overall, but so has the quality of supply. They have fallen together. I can't tell you how many times sellers have decided to hold off from the sale of their home as of late. There are multiple reasons for this, but one of the main reasons is that if someone sells today, they ultimately lose their low interest rate. So unless the seller's situation is currently too, too much strife, they're probably going to be staying put. Most people selling in this market likely don't have a mortgage or are downsizing, meaning they don't need to finance their next purchase. But even if they do, it's very little that they have to finance, making the rate somewhat irrelevant. For other sellers, it could be that the property is causing too much pain. For example, it's too small, it's in a bad location, or maybe there are stairs for an elderly person. These scenarios go beyond a good deal and impact the quality of life. What about people buying in this market? I mean, who's buying? What are they thinking with these rates? Are they crazy right now? Well, not necessarily. In fact, many investors are loving the current market and are buying as much as they possibly can right now. In the current market environment, these investors have way more negotiating power, which has been helping buyers on both price and terms. Many investors feel that although the monthly mortgage numbers might have uh, might be tight right now, they're predicting an interest rate drop uh, in due time. And when that happens, when the rate drops, they're going to be in an amazing position. They will, they'll have acquired a home at a discounted price and soon have an amazing interest rate to support the low monthly mortgage payments on the property. Which brings me to my next point. The U.S. is okay with some discomfort in the economy, but if it gets too bad, many people are projecting that they bail on their increased interest rate approach, similar to what the U.K. did just a few months ago. If you want to know more about what happened in the U.K., feel free to write me separately, and I can go ahead and go into more detail about that. So what's the timeline on the rates actually dropping? Well, Many investors believe that now through 2023 will be an incredible time to buy property. They feel that interest rates will drop in 2024 again, which will cause them to gain massive amounts of equity in their properties, as well as lower their monthly mortgage payments, making those investments more viable. Now, at the end of the day, these are just projections and anything can happen. There's always a certain level of unpredictability. For example, COVID. <laughs> All that said, we sit on the shoulders of giants, and as the billionaire Warren Buffett famously said, be fearful when others are greedy, and greedy when others are fearful. And let me tell you, I feel the fear, which means it could be the perfect time to take advantage of it. Now, if you are thinking about buying or selling, or just want to know more about the market, please reach out. My team would love to go into more detail about your specific situation and see if now is a good time to jump into the market. We look forward to it.